Did the band Metallica cause an earthquake in a stadium? That's the topic of today's video and I'll explain why. When I saw today's story on my timeline online, I thought I have to cover this because I know I talk about some heavy topics from time to time, complaining about HMRC or the BBC TV license, but today is something a little bit more fun and I'm sporting the top to go along with it. But let's talk about my favourite band and the story of today's video, which is Metallica. And the reason I want to talk about it is that Metallica is currently out on their 72 Seasons World Tour. Right now, it's in the US in its North American leg. It started two years ago, and Yvonne and I went to see the opening night in Amsterdam. It was incredible, and it was followed up two days later with a second show. Each venue that they go to, they play two nights, and they basically rotate all of the tracks round so that you get a completely fresh show, whether you're attending the first, the second, or both nights. It's kind of cool, and it looks a little bit like this. Okay, so why is this important? Well, a couple of nights ago, the rumour was that Metallica officially caused an earthquake. So on the 7th and 8th of May, just recently passed, Metallica was in town at Lane Stadium, Virginia Tech, in Blacksburg, Virginia. Now, the reason that this is important is that this is an American football stadium, and whilst I'm not particularly connected to that culture, I did read about this story and I thought this sounds kind of cool. Virginia Tech have an American football team and they often run out to the Enter Sandman track, a track over 30 years old, but from 2000 onwards, the football team have been running onto the pitch to the track and the fans have been going absolutely ballistic over it and the atmosphere looks crazy. So when Metallica were coming to town in May, it was set up for the ultimate collision of the masses. Metallica playing their own iconic track, Enter Sandman, but to a stadium full of enthusiastic Metallica fans, but also the local football fans who have embraced this track. This is what it looks like when the team runs out on the pitch. So let's jump forward a little bit. Metallica now show up on their world tour and of course they're going to play Enter Sandman. I'm a big fan of a channel on YouTube called Rockfeed which gives you all the kind of latest news and information about rock bands, heavy metal, who's on tour, who's got new albums out. I'd recommend this channel and I'll leave a link down in the description. Also, 1988 and Justice For All tour. I'm an old school Metallica fan. I've had the privilege of seeing the band 63 times over the years, dating back to 1992 when I saw them at the age of 15. So when this came up, I was like, I've got to talk about it. I know it's super niche on my channel and generally I talk about issues in the UK, but this just taps into all of my all of my passions over the years, so I had to share. So when Metallica hit the stage, 60,000 fans inside the home team's stadium ready to hear their favourite track, Enter Sandman. And as that track rung out, there was a seismic spike in the Virginia Tech Seismological Observatory Department in the university. It registered a 1.0 on the Richter scale for earthquakes with the fans jumping up and down and that's what's captured on the video I'm about to share with you. So let's have a look. We're here at Lane Stadium at Virginia Tech tonight for a crazy, crazy performance, once in a lifetime show from Metallica. The Virginia Tech Hokie football team has been running on the field to enter Sandman for over 20 years. And so I imagine when this happens tonight, the energy will be unlike anything we've ever seen. This The sports world, if you've seen the highlight reels of the Hokies, enter Sandman and just how fired up the crowd gets when they run out onto the field. I imagine this is gonna be no different. The crowd is absolutely packed. The production of this entire tour is insane because Metallica makes you feel like you're front row everywhere you are. They've got the best PA system. Check out all the sights and sounds of this historic performance. Probably the only time that we're going to ever see Metallica at this stadium mean so much. So many fans, so many 
alma mater here to see this show tonight. So much Virginia Tech here in the crowd. I think this is the only rock or metal show that's ever happened at the stadium. I could be wrong, but here from Metallica, and it really speaks to the band. Really realizing how much this band and their music means to Virginia Tech, and they really went out of their way to make this show happen out here in the Appalachian Mountains, Southwest Virginia. Let's just say not a lot of rock shows come through here, so shout out to Metallica for making this legendary once-in-a-lifetime show happen. Insane. Over 20 years running out on the field, enter Sandman. Metallica making it happen. I get to look you in the eye and watch, watch you change, man. It's so awesome. Do you like your music heavy? Yeah. Oh, I'm not convinced. Do you like your music heavy? Yeah. The Metallica gives you heavy, baby. Man, Virginia Tech, it's crazy. It's a, like this crazy dream. And everyone was having a Amazing, amazing time. <laughs> That's very cool. I like that. You gotta take part in a Mexican wave, right, when you're in a stadium and it happens. Here we go! <laughs> that fan's excited. I get goosebumps just watching this stuff because I'm like so, yes. <laughs> such a, I've just followed the band for so long that it just gives me goosebumps. So it was very cool when I read about the point that it had actually registered a 1.0 on the Richter scale at the university. I just thought that's so cool that I must share it. I know it's a cheesy story for a Saturday afternoon, but filled me with a lot of excitement and just the feel good factor. So I thought I would share it with you. I think the only other concert that's been rumoured to have caused some kind of seismic shift was Taylor Swift. So I'm glad to say that Metallica are at least up there with the Swifties. If you want to check out more of this, I highly recommend the Rockfeed channel. As I said, I've put the link down in the description so you can go watch the video or just follow that channel. Great for rock information, metal information, upcoming tours and what maybe some of your favourite bands are up to. In the meantime, I'm going to go and listen to a bit more Metallica and enjoy my And Justice For All t-shirt from 88 and I'll see you later. Thanks everybody for watching this video. Have a great day. Let me know down in the comments what you think. We'll see you on the next one.